All right, I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I mean, I guess I did. I said that I wasn't going to play more Tears of the King. Well, okay, here's the thing. It's now Monday, or it's Wednesday. I'm all scrambled. I watched the state of play just a little while ago. I got some food, like I said I was gonna do. And we're gonna play more Tears of the Kingdom. Um, now, really quickly, let's see if we can finish fixing up some of the stuff around Laurelin Village. Oh, we also don't need to wear this, because I need to upgrade this. And that's gonna take, what, a, a light dragon scale? So if this is like the last game, the light dragon, or uh, upgrading the champion's tunic, as it was called. I don't know why they changed the name. Um, upgrading the champion's tunic should give it 28, which would make it the best defense item in the game. I think we're going to have a session all to upgrading the champion's tunic. I feel like that's something I will do. Um, in the meanwhile, I will get to Gerudo today. Right? Yeah. So that big hole isn't even worth going down. Yeah, I haven't even been down it yet. I guess it's like a good introduction. So is there a way up from the abandoned Gerudo mine? Probably not, which kind of sucks, honestly, but whatever. All right, actually, let's do that now. Let's get this shit out the way. So how am I gonna approach this? I don't think there's something underneath the, uh, the mine, right? Like there's no, I think we looked around, there's no like places to go up from, I'm pretty sure, right? Of those elevators, what do they even look like on the map? Hold on. All right, because there was one over here. All right? Yeah, I don't think they're on the map, really. I mean, we could take a look, but I guess what I would rather do is let's just fly over. And I'll save the game just in case, right? Just in case something bad happens, like I can't teleport out and I get lost in the sandstorm for all eternity because i had to wander around in a sandstorm in breath of the wild and i'm not even gonna lie to you it was the most boring nothing waste of time i think i've ever done like the whole time i was like wow why didn't i save before wandering into this i could have i could have literally just reloaded and not done it. it it is it is literally just time killing and time wasting okay so let's do it Watch, the sandstorm will shut down Zonite. I can't wait. That's gonna be so funny. Because the whole goal is to get above this, so that way I can just fly into Gerudo Village, which, I mean, hey, look at this. This is kind of working, right? Yeah, I'm not impacted by it at all. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. You gotta work smarter, not harder. Okay, hold on. Let's mark this on the map. It's inside the town. Oh, you pieces of shit. It's on top of the town. I remember before it was outside. Not this time, I guess. Are they going to let me enter the airspace of this town without triggering a cutscene? Let's hope. Oh, yeah, it is like the majority of Gerudo is surrounded by this. <laughs> Alright, it worked. <laughs> Easy. There you go, work smarter, not harder. That's exactly what you gotta do. And it worked. For nine zone night, I was able to get here. Hmm. Okay. Buried light. There you go. I wish we had the gust bellows right about now. Whoops. That would be kind of nice. Oh, we have, like, no generic weapons, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's about that time again of the playthrough where we have no good weapons and our weapon slots are full. Can you move it while it's on? Oh, okay, there you go. Small key. It's so weird playing a Zelda game and they never have small keys. They like just at all because there's no temples so far. They're all they're all over the place. <laughs> like a Zelda staple that just does not exist in this game at all. Oh, shit. You're easy. I'm gonna go on a limb and say because he's in this early area, I mean, technically this isn't an early area, but, you know, because this is, like, a town, they probably want it to be pretty easy, you know? What? What? I think all the hard shrines are behind us, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, he saw me from all the way over there? This is such a very interesting one, too. You have to use sand as well, or not sand, you have to use fans and sand and stuff. It's kind of, I like, see, this is what I mean, like, it, there's, there's some good stuff here. I like that. from this uh okay well we don't want it to be this high up right no we just need it to go like this no <laughs> not like that like that uh no wait hold on what the fuck The surface isn't perfectly even, that's why. You know what? Smarter, not harder. Let's put it on this to stabilize it. Okay, now let's try it. Okay. <clears throat> this thing is still blowing, which is fine. See, now is this too high? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> no. Um, so we actually don't need it to be this high. Unless there's something over here maybe I could use, which I kind of doubt. So we have to, we just have to somehow get it through with nothing else on it. Unless we put it up top here and we can angle it downward, which I don't think we can. Does that work?
I don't think that works because we need to angle it so that way this... I think we have to bring this back. I think we actually have to angle this like upward somehow. But that's too high. I feel like... Am I overthinking this? Like, it can't be this ridiculous, right? And then, like, dude, what the fuck? This is definitely not right. I'm actually just more interested if I could actually pull this off, to be honest with you. If, oh, you know what? If nothing else, I could kind of boost myself up and just use my own version. I could merge this to a shield or something. But they probably didn't give me a spare shield. All right, it's probably supposed to go on this platform. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna mess around with that. But then the real question becomes, how do I get it down? How do I get the light down from this platform? All right. That's why I don't think it goes up on this platform. Because how would I get... I don't think it goes up on this platform. Dude, do you see how much that changed from one step? Oh, here we go. Yeah, but see, I don't think this works. Now we have to angle it, kind of. I don't know. Maybe we don't need this. Maybe we do. I guess I'll have, let's stick around with this. Let's see. Because some of these puzzles have more than one solution. Oh, whoops. And I actually do kind of like that. And that's one of my favorite parts. You think I could flash it constantly in that one spot over and over? Nah. They're, they're, they're smarter than that. Shit. This was such a good plan. I wonder, is there anything else I could, like, bump under it? Because I think if I bring the other fan over here, it's not going to work. This this will work. It would work even better if I had my own mirror shield so I could complete it. But I don't think that's going to happen. Anything in here? Hold up. Oh, wait, yeah, there, there's other stuff back here. So maybe here we'll get like something slantable, slantable, something slanted, and then that will allow us to push it up. Oh, shit. Can you just try to throw hands? How high does this take me, actually? Let's see. Yeah, you, you can make it if you're... 
angle is perfect. Bring one of these up here with me. Um, <clears throat> let's drop the Boko Reaper just for a second, right? Because that's a weapon, the Fan Guster. Yeah, it's actually a Zonite sword with a fan on it. for a chest i mean wait maybe the chest could be used to help solve the other one but i don't know let's see yeah let's see if we could take this chest i wonder if the chest looks pretty metallic right maybe the chest reflect or refracts light refracts light probably not maybe it's slanted enough that we could like tie the mirror shield to it let's see does it no. Shit. That doesn't help. <laughs> Can I do... Oh, I could do it the other way. Hold on. Yeah. Like this. Spin it. I think this is too high, though. Yeah, this is too high. Just by a smidgen. What about... What if we lay this down instead? Like this. I was about to say, it doesn't actually stay upright like that, right? I wonder if we could get it to stay upright like this. Yeah, let's get let's get one of those fans. Let's get two of those fans. There's actually three of them, I think, in here, right? No, there's two. Yeah, let's tie them together so I don't have to move two at once. I do think you put it up top, but I don't see how you get the light to refract from over here. Okay. There you go. It's a little propped up now. I mean, well, now I don't even need this second light or the, this uh, the second fan because now it's kind of propped up. Hmm. We have to prop it up. I think we actually do have to. Yeah, I think we are supposed to raise it up. Now that I think about it, this is a lot higher than what I thought. I think we do raise this up. Yeah. Now that I actually look at this, we, we need to raise up the other one. Because look at how specific this is. Yeah. Let's raise it up. Which means we have to use the fan as a booster. At least now we know we can get it through. Okay. Okay. Wait, did I? Oh no! Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, here it is. I was about to say, there was. Uh, I thought there were only two things there. Yeah. I'm going to use this as a booster, and then we have to redo it because I'm going to mess up the angle. Oh my god. Something tells me we had it really nicely before. Now I have to find that sweet spot again. Maybe this works. 
this does not work, spoiler alert. Got it! <laughs> that was an interesting puzzle. Because you had to have it from a certain angle with a certain perspective. I actually kind of like that. Um, should I keep the fan guster? What does it have? Yeah, it's just a normal Zonite sword. <sighs> should I keep it over the Boko Reaper? I mean, I don't have it. I guess there's some flux constructs we could kill. Right? There's one in the in, in Death Mountains area where we could break, I guess. Yeah, but it's only six. We already have one. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this. I feel like we could find those by fighting constructs, which isn't too terrible. Alright, well that one was a little bit more complex than I thought it was going to be. Nice, that's two. I'd like to know if some of these other ones are available and just in the sandstorm, or if I'm gonna land in the sandstorm and become trapped. Cause I don't know, can you teleport from inside of a shrine? I think maybe you can, right? I hate the desert. <laughs> car, car. Before we jump off, let's save. Alright, so what did that lady say before? Oh, yeah, there it is. See, now you can't teleport. Wait, can you? Oh, you can teleport now. Yeah, you couldn't do that before. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Before it scrambled you, you couldn't teleport. Now it just scrambles your mini-map. But you still know where you are? Do you? I guess so, right? Like, yeah, like right there. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's change armor again. Dude, is there anyone here? Like, seriously. Well, what that means is that we can... What the hell? Why is it scrambled not there, but right here? That is so weird. Where is everyone? Please see the front desk for all inquiries regarding the renting of seals. Gerudo Spear. Attaching a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. So that's an example of a Gerudo Spear. Dude, where is everybody? Uh, there's Gibdos, but there's no people. All right, something bad happened to Gerudo Town. Starlight Memories, a jewelry shop. I was expecting a bunch of Gerudos to be like, you can't be here and escort me out. Instead, there's no one. In fact, the only inhabitant is a Gibdo. Kind of funny how, despite all our efforts in the first game, nothing really got better. Yeah, she's not here. Now, this is not what I expected. This is intriguing. I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere.
Oh, she has some of these. Here we go. This is Riju's diary. I received an unsettling report from Bularia today. Uh, a strange haze. Some have called it gloom is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted into the sky where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much is happening all at once. What is going on in the world and are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule now that the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud of the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As the chief of Gerudo Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. As a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself isn't going to solve anything, or won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Buliara in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Urbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch uh, watch over us all in these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. So, there's a hole behind the throne. Alright. I'm gonna drop in uninvited, and it's gonna be an alternate game over because they think you're a monster. You're actually just a man, but they don't know that. Sloppy. No. A vote. There's a vote here. Stop him. <laughs> Heavens forbid I come to help. Shit, it's me. Huh? Or not permitted to be here. Must leave at once. Oh. Hold on. Well, we are. I guess she was in the first game. Okay. It's been some time, Swordsman. It's all right. This one has the Chief's permission to enter, and he's welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing. We heard the events. We heard. We had heard of the events of Hyrule Castle, but this things are dire indeed. Still, Swordsman. I mean, Link. I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. Mm. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos, suddenly appeared and attacked our troops and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to the shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed at our current situation. As uh, This is all to... To say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you're hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. All right, so we don't have to play dress up anymore. Very nice. Buliara? She is familiar with Link from his previous visits. Okay, I guess she was in the first game. I, I totally forget about her. <laughs> yeah. Where did the owner, hmm? Oh, you're the chief's guest. So this is a Vo. His ears look to be about and the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. You're the first Vo I've ever seen. I got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Oh. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories and the key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name is Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a Vo. So if you give me a chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really good ones for you. Mm. The shop's owner were here. She could probably have made you all sorts of things. But she went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits, gushing about all the treasures she'd find in the Taruma Dunes. It's a dangerous place, uh, though, Mulduga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. Well, the missing owner. You need something, or may not be here, but I'll do what I can. Okay. A ruby circlet. It's a headpiece. Yeah, you, you put it on your head. 
Here we go, the amber earrings. Yeah. You can upgrade these. These are really good. All right, sure, I'll buy. I have exactly 400 rupees. Sark. I, can, I personally guarantee this accessory will fit you perfectly. Here we go. A vow. For Stile left. Must be that vow everyone's talking about. Say, are highly in vow interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have finally deciphered these stele. Would you like to hear what... Uh, do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? If you insist. Stile over here on the left, it says, The seven heroines that pro who protect the Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stele. So still over there on the right it says the seven heroines, heroines who protect the Gerudo on eighth channels and guides the powers of these seven. Ah. Now you know this being a highly invoked, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Mm. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering all seven as a collective and others for worshiping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians claim there are not seven, but one or eight. There is one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Oh. I still I definitely support the theory of eight. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop right I could stop here and rightly say that I changed the face of archaeology, but if I found the other four steely, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. Uh I too or I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the stele. Is it connected somehow? If I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be the star of the Archaeology Society. Mm. But I've not been able to find any stele besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the other ones must be somewhere underground. Oh my god. Even just a picture would serve my purpose. Ugh. A vow? I can't believe they lost. Everything on looking down on our noble guards. Not only have they adapted to a brand new training regimen, one focused on mobility, they dove straight into battle without hesitation against the Gibdos. They have nothing if not their pride. Uh -huh. The Gibdos are strange monsters. Our spears didn't even scratch them when the guards tried to fight. Uh -huh. I can't think of a time when monsters as ferocious as these prowled the desert. Even with the new training regimen, the troops went through these monsters are too tough. Brute force won't help much. But be clever. Better yet, think up some new kind of weapon to fight them. Heard about it secondhand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. You see, some time ago, right when Lady Riju had become chief, Gerudo Town faced a major crisis. After it was resolved, Lady Riju swore that our military force would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Lady Riju's close friend, Princess Zelda, came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Riju, and she proposed a new training regimen. At least that's what I heard. Okay. Hmm. I understand what you're saying, but right now it's a luxury that we even get this much space in the shelter for training. It's only enough room for sparring, so that will have to do for now. But Captain Teak, we need the training area. Is there no way to get it open back up for us? Oh. Look at that vow the chief has allowed inside the town walls. If you're interested in the training area, you must be looking to refine your abilities. Well, the Southern Oasis training area is where we've been working to improve our desert mobility. Physical strength is important in fighting, of course, but being able to easily navigate the desert is valuable too. In fact, I argue maneuverability is the most important part of surviving in the desert. Oh. If you really think that, we need to reopen the training area and get to work right away. No. I already said no, Sudre. If we underestimate how dangerous the desert is, we'll never live long enough to master it. Going out and training in the sand shroud would just be throwing your life away. Until the sand shroud ends, we can't risk going to the training area. I won't allow it. All right, so in other words, there will be a, a quest later with them. Oh. Everyone in town has been informed of the special exception you've been given. Some may still be shocked to see you, but don't take it personally. And of course, feel free to make use of the inn or any of the shops. The Lei Riju is away seeking a means to defeat the Gibdo. I'm sure she would welcome you as oh. I have. Did you have any questions? Oh. They give those are strange monsters that recently appeared right around the same time as the Sand Shroud. The spears we wield have surprisingly little effect on them. We we're trying to figure out new ways to fight back. Oh. I don't know. We've, we've killed a bunch of them. Yeah. Lady Riju trusts you, which is more than enough for me. Oh, what? This is just their water? Okay. Okay. 
What do you have? Rock salts and rice? Hmm. Let's see. What's over here? Hey! <laughs> a man? You must be that man, I mean Vo, that everyone's talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. So you really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's no what normally happens when men come here. Ah. Like what happened to that guy over there. <laughs> I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. Anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that's all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked, and I work here as an assistant. The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. Just keep in mind, it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. This map. You're a Vo, aren't you? Rumors are true. There is a Vo in town. You don't look like the Vo dummies from the Vo and you class, though. I guess you look like how I imagine a Vo looks. Anyway, I'm Pearl. Nice to meet you. This is... Oh, I didn't even see her there. Aklet? She's a Vi who became my sister recently. Well, I mean, not like my blood-related sister, uh, sister, but I think of her like she's family. <laughs> By the way, my actual older sister is a scholar. Isn't that incredible? I think I'll become a scholar, too, when I grow up. Okay, so what does this map have to do with anything? Huh? Oh, you're the Vo. So I don't have time to deal with a Vo right now. My attention needs to be on preparing to welcome the out-of-town Vi. The sand shroud is making things difficult. Oh. Suppose I could tell you, after all, your situation is unique. As it happens, young Gerudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with Vo, and for Vi born outside of town, when they reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo town. That small Vi over there is named Acklet. She arrived here recently along with her mother, Perda. Mm. But Perda started working in one of the shops, one, is, is one that has a complicated relationship with the town, so she is rarely in the shelter anymore. Mm. That's why Acklet spends so much time looking at that drawing on the wall uh. over there. Thankfully, this town is like one big family. I'm sure the little one will get used to living here soon enough. I don't know if I could take. All right. Um. Is this the spa, I'm guessing? Lose oh. the Vo everyone's been talking about. Now, normally I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but I heard a new vibe is going to be coming to town soon, and that news sparked a fire in me. So I came up with a special version of my signature drink. It's one everyone from Ve Vevi to Vaba can enjoy. Mm. However, I can't get my hands on what I need to make, and I don't want to forget the recipe. What is this sand shore going to clear up anyway? All right, so it seems like there's a couple of quests that will actually, you know, clear up or become available after we do something about the sand shroud. Gotcha. <laughs> In the meanwhile, we can just leave whenever we want because they're underground. Okay. Well, uh, I know I have a whole bunch of markers in other places, right? Do I? Kinda. So, I mean, there's there's some other places we could go, right? Like, because there's uh, a ton <laughs> that we could actually get to if we wanted to. So, the ruins to the north... I wonder if we'll actually be able to, like, travel out that far. Oh, shit. What? Oh, this is the actual entrance way. Probably if you came, if you approached from that way, they wouldn't let you in. What's this? Torch. you at long last you the vo reading this letter are the vo i was fated to meet and i'm the vi you were destined for you must hurry and rescue me i'm locked away from the outside world what the fuck is going on dude okay i will send all my love to you until you come and find me stay safe and know that we'll meet soon as our destiny after all what the fuck
I'm locked away from the outside world. She's just sending duplicate letters. She's she's writing them at the speed of light. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Can we climb the rope? I'm assuming that this is her over here. Aww. Well, you want? I'm busy right now. Okay, I need to make sure that all my dreams hears my feelings for him. How can I properly focus the positive energy or put the balls in the world while this guy's Aww. lurking around? Get out of here. Scram. I don't get it. So what do we do with the letters then? It's not like I could take them. Maybe there's something at the end of this water trail. Yeah, I don't know how they're having trouble with the Gibdos. So far, the Gibdos have seemed pretty easy, so. <laughs> and that obviously, you know, I don't know if it's like just a story thing or, or what, but I've, I've had a pretty easy time with them, all things considered. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. It's never not going to be funny. Dude. I'm going to run out of bombs. Like, seriously. Oh, I definitely will run out of bombs now. Uh, I just don't know a good place to farm bombs. I never found one. Get up. I used every bomb I had but one. <laughs> every single one. Maybe you need to take one of those letters back with you somehow. So why would they have a Korok thing here? What do you need to do with it? I have no idea. Alright, maybe we'll just go see Riju. And then, um... I don't really know after that. Because now we've explored everything. Yeah, where, where, does, where do the bottles go? Do they just poof out of existence? <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to rewind the bottles going up and then grab it. I don't know. I don't think that would work. I think it spawns out. I think it spawns out of sight. So it wouldn't do anything. It's not like it spawns up top and I can rewind it up to her or something. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what to do with her. Um, yeah, they just disappear. So you can't pick up the bottles except using, uh, using Ultra Hand. Which means that you can't really do much. I guess we could try it, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Luckily, we could just leave here whenever we want since this is just the catacombs underneath the town. 
So it's not like this is some big commitment or whatever. Not shy about her throwing down like 10 of them at a time. She is speed writing this letter, man. What? Oh, here we go. Look at this spawn point. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing anymore. I'll send all my love until you come find me. Mm. Wait a minute. That bottle. Why do you have that bottle? If you got it, that means you must be... You have to be... Can't wait any longer. Tell me. Tell me you are who I know you to be. Don't say anything yet. I'm not ready for all the outside world holds. So I haven't mastered all the lessons from the Vo and You class or the old cooking class. You can wait a little longer for our love to fully bloom, can't you? Of course you can. That's settled. Now I need to get cracking on all there is to do. First, to the cooking pot. There you go. That's cool. You have to use three different powers to, to make it work. What, what's up? You're special, Vo, aren't you? Otherwise, the soldiers will be arresting you right now. So why are you special? Uh -huh. Dolly, you better not be speaking to that Vo. Did Mrs. Shy teach you the first rule about Vo? For young Vi, speaking with the Vo will only invite misfortune. I'm not talking to the Vo, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. Oh, uh, uh, that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Listen up, Vo, you shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. Okay. All right, uh, I guess what we could do now is let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and find Riju. We already know that there's a Gibdo burial ground underneath the town, basically. For lack of a better way of putting it. It's not far, at least. Yeah, see, it's down here. So we're definitely going to have to go to the Gerudo Underground Cemetery. And I don't know, are, are Gibdos reanimated Gerudos? Or are they just, like, truly true monsters? I don't know. My understanding is that Gibdos are just re-deads, wrapped up. I'm sorry, not, not re-dead, Stalfos. Oh, yeah, if you try to surf, you, you'll you fall. Okay, that's good to know. You need to have a clean shield, basically. All right, well, even your waypoint marker disappears. Luckily, this is so close. I don't think I could mess this up even if I tried. You can even see it from here. In fact, I think that's why it disappears. They want you to have a... Oh, no, never mind. Visibility is poor. That's what these random cyclones are for, so you can actually see where you're going. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Alright, here she is. Chief of the Gerudo. I'm just glad we didn't have to spend like half an hour sneaking into town. But then, 
All right, you always show up in unusual times. All right, back to no voice acting. Oh. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky, and Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you've come here looking for clues. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. Not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well on them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. <clears throat> Were you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I could aim the lightning well, I think it may be effect an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it, and I still need more practice. I want to master this power so I could use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I could do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I could use your arrows to aim, help uh, to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one of that dummy over there. Oh, there you go. Um, I am firing it. Oh, you have to wait. Okay. There we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we could hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Aim for the area in the middle of it, like right around where that rock is jutting out. Keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Oh? What was that? Didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Huh. Chief! We received word that a swarm of Givdos are attacking Kara Kara Bazaar. Buliara is already on her way there. Mm. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Car Car Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Car Car Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Oh, great. Luckily, I do know where I am. <laughs> <coughs> and they never upgraded the Sheikah Slate. <laughs> to see through sandstorm. That's unfortunate. Mm. I guess we could cool off by splashing ourselves. I think around car car it's actually pretty pretty chill, literally. Like it's not that hot. What the hell are their mouths? What is that? They look like fish monsters. Don't let any more Gibdos get close. Oh, if help doesn't arrive soon. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now and we're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. These monsters stand no chance. Ah, 
God damn, okay. Gibdo bones. Who are we fighting? Oh, okay, it's just these dudes. Dude, it's like horde mode. Yeah, these guys aren't that tough. Oh, never mind. I guess I have I ever meleeed them before? I guess I haven't. You know what it was? I used fire from the very beginning. I think that's what it was. All right, very nice. Storm of Gibdo seem to be coming. What is this? Oh. That is not good. We need to destroy that somehow. Otherwise, they'll overwhelm us. Well, I think that does it. God damn, send him flying. All right, nice. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Uh-oh. Is that Zelda? <laughs> Somehow we're going to end up in the underground. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. Why don't I just go with them? I'll meet you in town. <laughs> sure. Very interesting how we're just kind of like, eh, we'll see you there. Okay. Well, y'all didn't do anything. You had your perfect opportunity to impress, and you didn't do anything. This is why the Gerudo will never love you. So the Gibdos spawn like they're coming out of an insect hive. Now that's freaky. A Gerudo bow. Well, my Traveler's bow is ruined, so you might as well use that. Okay. It's actually perfect timing to pull it out like that. Yeah, let, let's 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 see if we could finish off this plot line. I think that would be kind of good if we could finish it off. We could get rid of the sand shroud. We could just roam around Gerudo Desert. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Plus, I I think that the Gerudo are actually really interesting. It's just that they're so like infrequently in Zelda games. Like they're not in Twilight Princess. They're either just missing, they migrated away, or they're extinct. I forget what which one of the three it was. Probably extinct. And so, really, they're only in, like, Ocarina and, I think, Majora? Huh? Huh? Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara hmm. Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up around the same time, too. It's not the only, uh, but it's not the, uh, not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. Only a clairvoyant sand seal to know that a massive Gibdo attack oh. is coming. 
Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack, but when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever, so when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Come. Come. To where I am. Again, you heard it, didn't you? <clears throat> Come, is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Let me read you. Link, is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. <clears throat> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. Okay. This will probably be a whole siege that we need to do. <clears throat> so let's save. Sand Shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And then we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on, but for right now, uh, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bul Buliara and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Oh. The questions? What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to de decide how best to deploy our forces. Oh. Pat is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have any questions? Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The Gibdos we've encountered in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dull the blade, but fire... It yeah, see, that's what I was using. I was using fire arrows before. Fire attacks, as well as Lady Riju's lightning, appear to be very effective against oh. them. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. Okay, let's go talk about materials first. Huh? Barricade building. Oh. We gather materials I, that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident I could build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Yes. Ooh. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. Got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Set it up at the east gate. Yeah. Then we could send some troops maybe to the north and the west. And that way we are recovered on most oh. of them. Just slow down any enemies that attack that position. Oh. Ooh. No. Okay. Ah. These materials. Mm. There's some food, also some rupees. Some of the troops found these strange capsules while patrolling, so those are here too. Things get really dire. Like, let's say you're, all your bows break or you're, you run out of arrows in the middle of battle, I can help you. Oh. All right. Cool. Hydromelon. A mirror. Yeah, they probably get stunned if they get exposed to direct concentrated light. That that's pretty similar to how it was in Wind Waker. Gerudo, yeah, they got everything, Gerudo, okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna definitely break some shit. So that's fine. Cause then what I'll do is I'll come back here. Twenty-eight, that's not terrible. Gerudo Scimitar. Silver Rupee. Electric Lizalfo's Horn. I was hoping for a little bit more Rupees. Yeah. Okay. I think the amber earrings also go above 20 defense. I think they go to 28. I think it's 28, 28, and I forget the legs I used. I remember getting <clears throat> 88 defense. I forget exactly how I got it up to that, but 88 defense basically makes you take, like, no damage from most normal enemies. You take one quarter heart. That's it. 
Oh, I didn't talk to the armory or the, the troops. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. Won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out lightly to cover all the gates or maybe concentrate or maybe a concentrate force to protect a weakened position. Ooh. All right, so the spear troops Ooh. will send to the west gate. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. We'll try using materials that generate fire. Ah. All right. Sword troops. Oh. Let's send them also to the west gate. If we hammer out the north gate first, maybe it'll be easier for us. Oh. I'll send the cannoneer north, I guess. Oh. Oh. There you go. All right, that should be good enough. Hmm. Are the preparations complete? They are. This is going to be the worst fight in the game. <laughs> I'm so not prepared. I thought Gibdos could sh could shriek, and they could yell and stun you. Hmm. Link. Curious about that voice we heard earlier, but. Hmm. hmm. Here they come. Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Or anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Okay, let's do it. Glory, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them all out in one battle, hives and all. Yeah. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Ooh. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Oh, stop them. What? Oh, I guess we have to wait for them to spawn. Oh, the Gerudo bow has like a zoom on it. Okay. Well, I don't really want to waste anything good. How do you make them spawn? Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the north gate. Here we go. Too. Take them out. Uh, let's go east. Seems like they send a token force to most locations anyway. Let's go east. Enemies from the hive near the west gate. Let's hit it with lightning. I feel like I'm playing zombie mod on Counter Strike again. Just like the good old days. Nah, it, was, it wasn't timed well enough. There you go. Flying enemies from the west gate tide. Time for a lightning strike or two. Well, damn, that one's done. <laughs> Didn't even need to do anything. It's done. Killed.
I like how I'm losing enemies more HP enemies. to town. Stop coming until we wipe out. Enemies are nearing the center of town. Prepare to attack. I'm on my way. We'll be fine. That's why I sent everyone over there. I don't know how I don't know how they're getting through. I sent everyone over to the west gate. Whatever. Fortunately, this is a pretty easy sequence. What? Oh Let's shit, they can fly. So you know what? This might be a, a rare opportunity. You can get a non-standard game, game over here if she dies. That's very rare in Zelda that you get a game over from anything besides Link dying. It's like in Metroid if you don't escape from something in time. Although usually it's pretty easy to escape from wherever in time. There we go. They're just flying right over them. <laughs> Wait, how is she under attack? What are you talking about? What? How, what? Who? What? One flew over. Oh, shit. Dude, how did one sneak by? What? Well, they killed it. Fortunately for me, they were they could actually defend themselves. The AI is not completely incompetent. Very nice. Like I said, not meant to be too difficult. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Link, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. I've noticed the hives crumbled into the sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand, or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Mm. Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard, a voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. Mm. There's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Stuff still here? Yep. One must have flown over me and I just didn't see it. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, usually Zelda has like random stuff like that. Usually it's not too hard. And sometimes like Twilight Princess had one that was a little bit difficult. Um, but usually it's not too bad. Oh wait, can you open the door for me? Oh. Fall well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're all right. It would have been unacceptable for an important guest of Lei Riju, even a Vo, to be injured. You may pass through here, get some rest, and recover after such a fierce battle. Thank you. Sir. Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. Thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, writing on the mural says, Standing back to back with the throne, witness the red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the stone, the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my, uh, you who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. A mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Hmm. This image must represent the location of uh, a location of some kind. And the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. Uh, it's the only explanation that makes sense. Red pillars and light. Unite the pillars and back to back with the throne. Witness red pillars across a vast sea. Hmm. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone. Sensor hmm. makes it you can soar in the sky like a Rito. Yeah, well, I can. Hilariously. Whoops. So there must be some 
places around Gerudo Desert that we can go to. Oh, great. Okay, well, standing back to back with the throne. Oh. Lady Regis should be the Merle. Okay. What about this way? Back to back with the throne? Well, it's not a perfect back to back either. It's the voice and the mural are connected. Witness red pillars across a vast sea. I think we just have to fly around a whole bunch, honestly. I mean, there's those pillars, right? Yeah, it probably is just that then. Who says that there have to be multiple sets of pillars? Okay. Oh, great. Okay, let's put on some pants. Or the helmet works. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I mean, with coordinates, this actually isn't too terrible, all things considered. Once you burn them a bit, you can hit them normally. Okay. Well, good thing I have some bombs, because what else would I do to break this? I guess maybe if you had like a rock hammer, but yeah. Yeah. Can we turn this? Uh, no, actually. This is spooky, man. <laughs> the fact that you can't see above, like, what is it, 75 meters? All right, so where else can I go? I guess, do we just follow the light? I guess we kind of have to. Yeah, maybe there's something else out here. So it looks like a, a little triangle. Wonder if it goes down to there. Yeah, here's another one. If I'll be able to keep it marked while I travel around. You know what it is? It's like uh, in Wind Waker when there's the three islands you have to use to raise the Tower of the Gods. That could be it. So, I don't know. Can I mark... Inf instead of marking it with that, let's mark it with this. Right? Now, I won't be able to see it once I fall down. But hopefully I could write my... Oh, jeez. That is, this is pretty crazy. This is cool. This is what I, I would Ocarina would, I feel like a sequel to Ocarina would be with the Haunted Wasteland. How you could just wander around and just get lost. This is actually really interesting. I like this, see? Now this feels like something that like, I like this. This is actually my favorite rendition of Gerudo Desert. I might like the feel of Twilight Princesses where you just like have to go on this long journey across the desert. But I actually really like this in particular. This is cool. Yep, there it is. And there's a shrine over there, as we already know. This is cool, man. It's like a, a mini dungeon in the overworld, you know?
give to a hive. Yeah, and they use a classic enemy that isn't really used in a lot of uh, Zelda games, which is the Gibdos. And you gotta give them a little bit of credit for that. That's pretty cool. Man, what is this? Oil jar. Are you serious? Yo, they are determined. There you go, we can climb up here. At least the... Well, it, it is cold, I guess. Never mind. I was gonna say, at least the sandstorm keeps the sun off. But yeah, it keeps it cold. Where's the light? What is this? I don't know what this material is. Oh, great. Well, that's not going to help. Can I at least look at the depths? Yeah, you can. You can look at the depths, but conveniently, it doesn't show you where you are. Because that would be too easy, I guess. You could just triangulate yourself using the depths, so they don't let you do that. Now, what am I supposed to do for this? Well, we could get the shrine, if nothing else, while we're out here. In fact, there's another one. Oh, it's just at the Southern Oasis. I could have gone there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are both really close. Well, we see all three of them. <laughs> They're not hidden. You just have to get to them. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I should do with this, then. There's no light down there. And I don't... Like, are these big matchsticks? Like, what are... What even are these? Hunter's shield. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't have enough. Oh, it's Arbiter's Grounds! Oh, that's cool. It wasn't such a pain in the ass to move stuff like this. Oh no, you cannot. It, that is not happening. Was this in the first game? I don't think so. I think this is new. Well, I mean, if it's about the shrine, I could just fly to it, right? I just don't know if, like, one of the things I need is out here or not. Before I commit to that. Well, now 
down taking heat damage. Uh, let's swap pants and the headpiece. Even though, wouldn't you want a hood to keep the sand out as well as the sun off of you? I don't, I don't really get that. Don't mind me, I'm not a desert traveler. I just, I'm merely observing. I don't know, it feels weird to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll put on a hairband to keep my hair up. I mean, it's not the worst thing you could do, probably. Oh, we have to bring, I got you. We have to bring it up here. Yeah, okay. We need paddles. Well, I don't know if we need all four, but we need paddles. I was gonna say, there's no way it's somewhere off way far. That would be, you know how annoying it would be if like the thing was in Arbiter's grounds? You had to go all the way out there? This is much nicer. It's really hot up here. How do you? How would I? Oh, no! I could do. I could just ascend through this, through the very thing I'm lifting. Which dragon is that? I can't tell. I have no idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out where uh, the light dragon is, over and over. So that's going to be kind of interesting um, in the sense that, like, I have to figure out where, where she is and then farm parts off of her, which is that's going to be fun. Well, there's nothing I can do about the double heat. I just have to accept it. Can't do anything about that, so... We have food for this exact thing. Idea what this is doing, if anything. All right, let's eat some food. What is this even? I think it's rotating this. There's still no, like, jewel or gem down here. So I don't really know how that's going to help. We're going to have to go into Arbiter's Grounds. I feel like it's going to be out there somehow. Unless I have to do a whole bunch of rotating for, like, multiple seconds or multiple minutes. even doing maybe it's the other way oh that sounds better oh yeah I don't know if it does sound better, actually. What the fuck? 
I am very confused by this. I don't know if there's something like essential missing from it or what. Because that did not do anything to help me. We need to attach all four? That seems unnecessary though, right? But I guess I should do it just while I'm standing here. does that there's no way to even tell you could be turning this for multiple minutes and accomplish nothing that's why i'm a little bit i'm a lot of bit confused I, I can't tell if like there's a light that's gonna come out at some point or what let's save Let's save after we've done all this before I mess up. Yeah, I don't think this fixes whatever it is. I think we have to go to Arbiter's Grounds, which means I think I have to fly in there. <laughs> For lack of a better way of putting it, I think I have to fly in there somehow. See, we could get to the shrine. Maybe something's over there by the shrine. Now, obviously, the answer to that is probably not, but whatever. I have no idea what's over here. I don't even think this works, right? Because I've been pushing it. And there's no way to, like, push it by itself, right? Oh, wait, I could rewind it. Oh, it is rotating this. Oh. Oh, wait, that's what we need to do. Yeah, we have to have them all point to the same location, right? Unite the pillars in light to reveal the, the lightning stone and open the way. So we do have to keep rotating it, I guess. I just think it takes an unbelievably long amount of time. Yeah, okay, see it's it's turning. I think. Is it stuck? Is it stuck? Dude, I, I have no idea. You know what it is? Maybe all the beams have to look at each other. Yeah, maybe it's... Okay, so they don't have to cross. They all triangulate. It's... It, okay, I got it. I understand it now. Oops. All right, well, let's try to get this shrine while we're out here, or die to quicksand, one or the other. <laughs> you think I can even fly to that? Actually, you know what? We totally can. Drop some wood. Toss a fire fruit. Throw a pine cone. Um... There you go. Start bleeding height. Ugh. 
Ah! Scrambled! Oh! <laughs> Alright, very nice. And there's one right over there at the Sacred Shrine, so... This is the southwest corner of the map. Even though it looks like it goes on forever, it, does, it most certainly does not. Well, I cheesed it. I flew in. <laughs> but I will take your blessing anyway. Thank you very much. That will be very helpful when I want to go fight a Gleok or something. Any day I could save 9 Zonite is a good day. Even though 9 Zonite is nothing. I actually still haven't even done any of the farming I said I was going to do before. I just didn't do it. I, I, I literally stopped playing like a few days ago and then I didn't play until today, so. Okay, let's, um... Obviously, I'm not traveling back from here. So let's go back to town. That's what we have to do. We have to have all of these beams light up into each other like a triangle. It's not... Okay, so I, but earlier I said it was like the three different uh, Pearl Islands in Wind Waker, right? Where you have to take the pearls and they triangulate and then they spawn the Tower of the Gods. That's not at all what this is. In fact, that's almost pretty far from what it actually is. Instead, we just need to go out to each of these pillars... I don't even know where the other one are. Is uh, here? Here we go. Over there? Okay, whatever. This is gonna be one hell of a journey. I'll tell you that much. Hmm. Yeah, because there's nothing to spin this. This was very straightforward. There's nothing to, to manipulate this with. That's exactly what it is. You're supposed to follow the light. Now, eventually, we're going to have to kill a Molduga. The fact that they made them fly with butterfly wings is such a cool redesign. I actually really like that. How are we gonna redo Gibdos for this game, sir? Um, let's have them fly away. <laughs> Shout out to Panty and Stalking. One of my best friends is really into that show. It is. Although it looks like it's fallen, it's sunken into the ground. <sighs> now we have the opposite problem. This is too low. See, and then they eventually get their color back. It only stuns them unless it's the lightning, in which case it completely destroys them. Aha, here we go. All in all, this was much simpler. I was doing something wrong. And you know what? It's true to, like, Gerudo lore, like how they used to have the mirror shield. Oh, we already have it in position. Done. Very nice. 
I guess it locked in position. Yeah, see? Now I don't have to do anything. We're done. All things considered, it was kind of like the... What was it? The pearl stuff. I like how there's, like, no mention of the Divine Beasts, no mention of almost anything that happened in the last game. Nothing. Like, like literally nothing. <laughs> no. Where's the... No, get off of it. Where's the, um... There you go. I'm gonna go get that shrine while I'm out here. Might as well. There it is. And there's a campfire. Maybe that's where the lady was. They they said that she went to Molduga territory. So maybe that's where she went. Maybe we have to go save her. Oh, God! Up, up, up! Good lord. Let's just use the Master Sword. It's a 30 attack weapon. Oh. Joke's on you. I can't drop the Master Sword, motherfuckers. Y'all just doing everything. I'm just here for the shrine. I'm not here for all this weird stuff. <laughs> At least we know this is a good place to just get some easy kills. Probably loot some easy weapons or something. That's all. It's like a nice twist on like... Oh no. It's a nice twist on the whole mirror shield stuff. Because that is part of their lore a little bit. Proving grounds. Lure. This is going to go about as well as you expect. I'm worried this is going to trip the laser. Let's put it away. Gonna be a sneaking mission, Snake. Weapons and Equipment OSP. It's not what I wanted to hit. Sadly, there's no righty flip. <laughs> Dude burns to death. So we just need to knock them into the water. 
Why am I even working this hard? Bye. Oh my god, look at the look at the life bar go. Holy shit, that's because he was like the leader. Yeah, wow. He had the most health. It was that one dude. He was the hardest enemy, and we killed him just by pushing him into water. Yeah, I mean, lure was correct. Lure them into the water. Why even fight them? Why am I gonna work harder? Bye. Oh, it's not deep enough. Dude, all these have been easy except that last one. That, there was one of these that was really hard. I think I died on it. But I haven't died since... I don't even know what part. Luckily, that's because fairies exist, to be fair. If fairies didn't exist, we'd, uh, we'd have a rough time right about now. Okay, I gotta look through that later. It's only 840, which is... Or 814, which is even better. Captain 4 Blade... It resonates with attached zone eye devices to increase some of its attack power. Drop this stick. Can we still pick up the loot down there? I guess not. Alright. Easy. And now that we have access to Gerudo Town, every Blood Moon, we can come here and get some free weapons. I mean, they're not particularly strong, right? Well, in, as in, like, the durability is pretty bad. And you might be saying, well, that's that's the whole point, right? Like, they don't want to let you have, like, really high durability weapons by upgrading them. I mean, then here, here's how you do it, right? Each base part of the weapon should have a max durability. Each thing that you attach to it should have, you know, some durability added. You mostly meld stuff for attack power, right? So, like, you could still have Garuda weapons that are strong and are, are good, and they're not broken, and they just have a lower durability. So, let's say the average weapon, like, in, in, in the alternate version of this game, right? The average weapon lasts for 100 swings, 100 confirmed hits, right? Um... You could have Gerudo weapons maximum durability, and that's just for the average weapon, by the way. You could have Gerudo weapons durability be, I don't know, like 50. I don't know, right? Like 50. But it, the, you know, it doubles attack in exchange for a have durability. And you could still repair it, right? It's just double durability. That's all. And that way all the systems would still work. You know, you would still be able to have weapons you could fix and repair, right? You could mark weapons. Some some weapons are special. Some weapons aren't. I like how it hasn't... No sandstorm. What the hell? It's super... It's super light around here. What's going on? Yo, game. What the hell? Thank you. I mean, I was getting a bit worried. Yeah, I like this, man. Hi. Anyway. You know, I don't even want to stop to fight, y'all. What the fuck? Oh, it's a cactus. I thought it was someone standing there. <laughs> yeah, let's let's lift this sandstorm. This would be awesome. Link. You see that Link? It's Zelda. Oh? What? She's gone. Where did Zelda go? Hmm. 
saw the lights of the red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. Cannot be a coincidence we've seen someone look like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another right. time. Did you solve the mural's riddle and cause, this, and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said, Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open oh. the way. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. 